Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Skyrim. Okay, so let's address this immediately. You can probably tell from my voice I had the flu. I think it's been a week since I recorded part two. Haven't quite got my voice back yet. Hopefully it won't be more than a couple of days, but as much as I'd rather wait until then, if I don't record stuff now, we're just simply gonna run out of video, so don't really have a choice. But yeah, I do apologize. Hopefully it's not gonna be too irritating. Anyway, I believe we have to speak to this guy. What up, buddy? I'm busy, but that doesn't mean much to you, does it? Nope, not really. I've installed all three picks, now stop yelling at me. Perhaps you have. But I will not know if you did it correctly until I receive notification from the intelligence itself. Are you calling me a liar, sir? A tone sounds from somewhere on Numenar. I don't hear this tone. Numenar, you slave-driving fool. If you needed someone to tell you the Thalmor wops are no good, you didn't need to contact me. Next time you want the obvious relayed to you, go talk to a child. Oh, sick burn. Wait, the Thalmor are messing with the world mechanisms? Maybe not all of them. I'm not one for bigotry, but some yellow skin up on Whitehorn Pass is certainly looking into it, it seems. That's some racist shit. Bunch of bananas can't leave well enough alone, can they? They're racing Lorcan and now going after the throat of the world. I suppose it was obvious that the Thalmor were trying to interfere with our work, but I still needed to hear it from the analyst. So it's always those blasted Thalmor. What? What's a banana? Pyandonian fruit. It's long, yellow, and smells. Like the Thalmor. Yeah, it makes sense. At any rate, I will need to meditate on this information. Feel free to look around until then. I'm sure you have some tasks you consider worthwhile. Yeah, you'd think so, but you'd probably be wrong. Okay, apparently we can ask him already. Have you figured out the plan yet? Yes, but no. What? The Thalmor simply being involved in something is inevitable. Them trying to destroy the world is highly expected. We need specifics. We need to know who, why, how. I do not like crawling around blindly. I am a fabricant, and I demand information. I see. You want to spy on them? I prefer the word infiltrate. We now know whatever bit of the Thalmor responsible are located. It would be simple enough to storm the place. I'm not sure storming the place really counts as infiltration. Which will do? No. Delicate. That's the key here. Stumbling blindly is not our way. We don't know who is involved or what, hence the infiltrating. Instead of a full-out assault, I'm going to send an agent in, disguised as one of their number. They go in, they retrieve what information they can, and get out. Simple, easy, efficient. Am I to assume that agent's gonna be me? <laughs> exactly. Precisely. You have better knowledge of the surface world's social cues than we do. No, I don't. Also, you can eat normal food without exploding, and the Thalmor do love their feasts and parties. We managed to scavenge these robes. They'll be enchanted to disguise any excess details, and you should be able to blend in. With a few forged documents and some sneaking, you should be just fine. Sneaking's one of the three things I do best. Okay, where am I going then? The place is called Whitehorn Pass. It was an old Imperial outpost in the northern Syrod border in the Second Era. Now it belongs to the Thalmor. This time, however, I don't want you traveling there on foot. Too risky. No, use the upgate this time. It's about time we give you access to that. What of the day is time? The what? The upgate. We don't have a helicarrier like a proper chronography team, but it serves its purpose for getting us around. Head to the building with the big spikes all over it. Talk to Subori there. She'll lay things out for you. Okay. So we finally got a new quest. About damn time. Get out of my sights. And yeah, once again, we seem to have lost over Baron Zazago. Are we surprised by this? No, because they disappear literally all of the goddamn time. It's kind of infuriating. Hey, buddy. Go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> I like that guy, even though he's a complete dick. But yeah, I do apologize about the fact that I have a cold. Like I say, if I don't record stuff now, we're simply going to run out of videos and... That's just sucky. I'm hoping it's only going to be a couple more days before I actually don't sound, you know, like a snot-nosed child, but we shall see. Hello? Yeah. There must be something you do with those weird golden bug things on the ground, but I guess not. Now, understand me, outsider. I have had to deal with breakdowns, bus stops, and malfunctions on this gate, and it is not something I enjoy doing! Okay, I'm sorry. Just because I'm the one who cleans up your messes does not mean you're to go around making them. 
This is a delicate piece of equipment. You will treat it with the same respect you would any other machine, or I will turn your hide with a chain. Kingy, she sounds pissed off. Do you know all about this upgate? When I was a young girl, I used to work for Pevlov, and he worked a kind of magic with the transport gate. Some of it rubbed off on me. So, here I am. The upgate is our way of surface travel, much smoother than an elevator, and I can set its destination to just about anywhere we need to go. Ah, interesting. I wonder if we can actually use that ourselves. Perfect. Need to hit the White Home Pass. Oh, you need to use it now? That's, uh... Oh. The last one to use the gate was Lovato's. I've no idea where he got a key to this place. But he ran through, half-naked, covered in butter, screaming in a strange language. I'm still working on cleaning up the mess. Okie dokie then. Butter? How is butter a problem besides high cholesterol? When it comes to Lovados and butter, but it's always a problem. He didn't really cover himself in it. It was more like he flooded the entire chamber with it. Verminous fabricant butter is nasty stuff. Distilled, it makes a good lubricant, but if not, it sticks in machinery and is a pain to clean out. Lubricant, eh? I managed to get most of it, but there's still some pockets of the stuff in the lower pump mechanisms. This just gets weirder and weirder. If I cleaned out this, uh, butter, could I use the gates? You would actually help me. You don't have ulterior motives, do you, outside here? Don't be silly. Of course I do. Besides using the gates, yeah. Very well. I'm not one to look a Khajiit in the mouth when it gives me something. You may help. I'm an orc. The pump mechanisms alternate and move enough that you should be able to scoop out the pockets of butter. If you're quick enough. Don't come crying to me if you lose a limb, though. I'm not reattaching it. <gasps> you bitch. Okay, so we gotta clean out the butter deposits from the bottom of the upgates. That is possibly the most random quest I think I've ever done in any game ever. And you know what, I'm entirely okay with it. It's outside the box. As long as it's not going to a Draugr ruin and kill 50,000 of the undead bastards, then I am put- Wow, that looks cool. I'm guessing these are just random things that probably don't do anything, but they're just there to look different. And again, I like that, it's just a little detail. And she seems to have some kind of weird control panel. I think these books are custom, so... You know the drawer, I'm gonna open them up, go through the pages. If you want to pause the video so you can read it yourself, be my guest. I don't like reading 50,000 pages on camera, especially with a cold, so... Yeah. I didn't mean to take that. Well, whatever, we have it now. How long are you? And yeah, like I say, I think these are custom, but it's possible that they're not, but... I don't recognize the names anyway. Okay, how long are you, Mr. Book? You are kind of freaking long as hell, holy shit. Right, well anyway, I'm gonna go back and get the ingredients that we need to fix the warden or whatever it was called. The weird robot thing in the corner. Activate skull. We'll come back to that, I don't really trust that skull thing right now, but yeah. Gonna go get the ingredients very quickly, and then we'll carry on from there, so. Give me a moment here. Okay, I has acquired all the ingredients, let's fix this puppy and see what it does. So oh, it's called a watchman. Figure out how to turn on the watchman. Uh... Well, it's gotta be something to do with these weird... glowing... spiky things. I'm clicking on them, but they don't seem to do anything. Maybe there's a specific order, maybe this guy knows something. I'm busy, but that what do you doesn't know about the- you don't know you anything. Doesn't. You suck. Get out of my sights. Okay. So... I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so as you might be able to tell, I've been trying everything. I zapped all the things, I tried clicking on them in literally every single order I could think of, and it's not... I thought maybe it would be some kind of weird Simon Says thing where you click on one and maybe it makes a specific sound, and then you know which order to do them in. I thought maybe you could charge them up with electricity. I tried running around the room to see if there was a control panel or something. I can't find nothing, man. So maybe we just can't do that? Yeah, I, I really have no idea. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll come back to that. But, uh... 
Yeah, like, I, I, unless it's something that we just can't do yet, I have no bloody idea. But yeah, anyway, we gotta check out more of the building, because... I'm assuming we're going to come to these places at some point, but I figure screw it. We'll check it out right now just in case, because it's fun to explore. Why are the hell nuts? And we're in Lovatos' house, and holy shit, it's very, very bright. And apparently we can't take the crossbows, not that I really want them, but still. And he has an empty chest, and... Some weird shit here, with cups. I think they're regular, but I found a special coin. Maybe we need that for something. Maybe it doesn't do anything. I really have no idea whatsoever. Is there nothing in here? Huh. Well, all right then. Your house sucks, buddy. It really sucks. Let's go check out the other buildings. I'm assuming this is just kind of like their village-ish area. Like, these are probably different houses for the NPCs. There's a guardhouse. Or a jail. Okay, so yeah, this does kind of seem to be the village section of it. It's weird. Like the Hark boss? Siavari? He does good work. I have no idea who that is, but thanks nonetheless. And I just realized, isn't her helmet from Warhammer 40k or something like that? Maybe I'm wrong about that, but I seem to remember there being Warhammer 40k modded into Skyrim, like the armor. Maybe this is by the same mod maker, or maybe he got the guy's permission to use it, I don't really know. There is a shit ton of those golden bug things. Well, alright then. Well, there's a red one. Beep. Beeping that implies a trade request. What? Beep. 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 Hey. You want me to trade you human hearts for dice? That's disgusting. Beep. Dare I ask why? Do you want them for sustenance? Beep. Okie dokie. Beep. Creepy. On second thought, never mind. Beep. I don't have any. Well, I guess next time we leave this place, I should probably go grab some human hearts, because let's be honest here, I'm a murdering son of a bitch, I probably have some around here somewhere. So yeah, I guess we'll come back and bring them to him. It's interesting that they mentioned dyes. I wonder if you can just dye it like any piece of equipment in the game or anything, like armor and stuff. Maybe the dyes are only for equipment exclusive to this mod, I don't really know, but that's very interesting nonetheless. And also, maybe you can only get red dyes since he's red, I, I don't know, like... It would make some, yeah, it makes a certain amount of sense to me, because, you know, human hearts, maybe he's supposed to get the die from those, which is really disgusting, but still. I don't know, it's also possible that there might be multiple dies, so yeah, we'll have to come back and check that out, because that sounds very, very interesting. Alright, what's in here? Apparently, a shit ton of books. Not that we can actually read them. Well, we can read that one, and I believe that's also new. How long are you? Kinda long. This is what I'm saying, man. Like, if I stood around reading all these damn things, this would be like a 45-minute episode of just Mr. Anderson reading whilst he has a cold. Which I'm sure there are some people out in the world that would enjoy that. Because, you know, different strokes for different folks. There are some weird people in the world, but... Personally, I ain't down with that shit. Right, now, here's the question. In fact, no, we haven't, have we? Because we didn't check out the guardhouse or the jail yet. Yeah. All right, let's go in the guardhouse. Don't know if there's actually going to be any guards in here, but I guess we shall see. Hello? Guards? The hell is that? That looks like a weird electric chair. I... This is very creepy. And yeah, there are no guards in here. This is potentially the strangest guardhouse that I think I have ever seen. Oh, and I can't remember if I mentioned this already, but I don't think I did. Just in case there's random bits of science, that's probably me cutting out me sneezing or coughing and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm not doing that too much anymore, but just letting you know. And this looks more like a jail than the other place looked like a guardhouse. But still, there's like no prisoners or anything. It almost looks like this place is abandoned, almost. I mean, there's like a couple of NPCs, but this looks more like an abandoned village-ish area. I don't know if that's intentional, it's kind of hard to say. Okay, I reacquired Dove Baron Zago, and I cannot find where the hell this butt is hanging out. So let's go back and speak to this chick again, see if she's got some more dialogue that might actually tell us, because the journal just says the bottom of the upgates. That's where we are, we're in the upgate, but I don't know how to get to the bottom, so... Yeah, screw it, speak to her and see if she knows anything new, cause... I really have no yeah. idea. Ah, yeah, screw it, what's with the little beetles? The little gold bugs that beep? I hope you aren't harassing them outside. Me? Never. Those are formation repair fabricants, or FRFs, and they do nothing but help us. If they're bothering you, then good, they have a reason to do so. Do you happen to know why one of them asked me to collect human hearts? Because that's kind of creepy. And yeah, what can the upgate do? How is it not obvious to you that something called an upgate 
can create gates up to the surface. Touché. It was named that so people wouldn't ask stupid questions like that. Of course, it can do more than just return you to the surface. Like? If I'm not busy, which I will be, I can set it to take someone to a variety of locations. If you ask nicely sometime, perhaps I will show you a demonstration. Lady, I think you and me both know that's probably never gonna happen. And yeah, she seems to have no information for me whatsoever, so... I guess I'm on my own here. Well, besides Dove Baron's Zone, let's activate the skull right now. It doesn't do anything. Why is there an activate option? Maybe that's something we can do later on, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, that's kind of strange. Let's check out the map. I... There doesn't seem to be any more exits around here. Where the hell is this freaking butter man? Like, holy shit! I... Nope, that doesn't do anything. How do I... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! It kind of looks like maybe we can get down. Let's try over here. Wait, I see a giant staircase. Holy crap! Yes! Okay, we found it. That really wasn't that... Oh, good lord. It really wasn't that hard, but for some reason... I suck. What do you want from me? Looks like you'll need a shovel to scoop up the butter. Which we don't have. Son of a bitch. Okay, and Dover Bear's stuck down there already. Are we surprised by this? No, no we are not. Right, there's got to be a shovel around here somewhere, because surely they're not going to make me go all the way back out. Maybe we can speak to her and get a shovel from her. I don't really know. Hey! There's a green shovel. Is that one good enough? Or not? I'm trying to think if there's any other shovels in the game. I guess there must be. But I don't recognize any. Oh, Jesus! Okay, it worked. Good. Now, it looks like these things don't actually hurt me, but they do push me around all over the goddamn place. And yeah, no doubt Dove Baron and Zago are both gonna get stuck down here, but hopefully they'll just teleport to me when we leave the room, because otherwise... I'm gonna have to get them back again, and... That's just irritating. I don't know what is up with them lately, uh, someone told me to install a new mod. I'm gonna have to go... Wait, what? Apparently we've done it, but there's another one over here. Must complete my work, goddammit. Apparently there's a different follower mod that, uh, should make it more reliable than UFO, so... I guess we'll check that shit out, cause, yeah. Lately, they're just being giant pains in the dick and disappearing all of the time. I just need somewhere teleporting them to me without using the console, cause it takes forever in the console. Okay, the butter has been cleared. What up? So, uh, where's the option? Oh, I think I cleared out the last of the butter pockets. Have you? Well, there's only one way to find out then, isn't there? Step through the gate when you're ready. I recommend a running start, though. It hurts less. Why do I get the feeling we're about to reenact the scene from Austin Powers 2 where Dr. Evil just runs into his time machine and smacks into the wall because it's not switched on yet? Why do you still have an arrow above your head? I don't know. Okay. Maybe that's just a minor bug? Maybe it's a major bug? Oh no, maybe we can still do it even though the arrow's on her. It's... Oh, is this the place? And go! Yeah. I... Oh, I have to click on it. Son of a bitch! <laughs> well, I guess we're in Whitehorn Pass now. Present your papers to the gate guard and enter Whitehorn. Alrighty then. And... That's weird. That doesn't even look like where we came from. It looks like a random cave. That's very cool, but strange. Anyway, I'm going to wait here next time we infiltrate the building. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, despite my cold. If you did, I always appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Skyrim. And hopefully I'll sound better.